Göttingen, also U.S. German, Oetian, listen, Low German, Chottingen, is a university city in Lower Saxony, Germany, the capital of the eponymous district. It is run through by River Lean. At the start of 2017, the population was 134,212. Topic: General information. The origins of Göttingen lay in a village called Gutingi, first mentioned in a document in 953 AD. The city was founded northwest of this village, between 1150 and 1200 AD, and adopted its name. In medieval times the city was a member of the Hanseatic League and hence a wealthy town. Today, Göttingen is famous for its old university, Georgia Augusta, or Georg August Universität, which was founded in 1734, first classes in 1737, and became the most visited university of Europe. In 1837, seven professors protested against the absolute sovereignty of the kings of Hanover, they lost their offices, but became known as the Göttingen Seven. Its alumni include some well-known historical figures, the brothers Grimm, Heinrich Ewald, Wilhelm Eduard Weber and Georg Gervinus. Also, German chancellors Otto von Bismarck and Gerhard Schroeder attended law school at the Göttingen University. Karl Barth held his first professorship here. Some of the most famous mathematicians in history, Karl Friedrich Gauss, Bernhard Riemann and David Hilbert, were professors at Göttingen. Like other university towns, Göttingen has developed its own quaint traditions. On the day they are awarded their doctorate degrees, students are drawn in handcarts from the Great Hall to the Ganselisel Fountain in front of the old town hall. There they have to climb the fountain and kiss the statue of the Ganselisel Goose Girl. This practice is actually forbidden, but the law is not enforced. She is considered the most kissed girl in the world. Nearly untouched by Allied bombing in World War II, the inner city of Göttingen is now an attractive place to live with many shops, cafes and bars. For this reason, many university students live in the inner city and give Göttingen a youthful feel. In 2003, 45% of the inner city population was only between 18 and 30 years of age. Commercially, Göttingen is noted for its production of optical and precision engineered machinery, being the seat of the light microscopy division of Carl Zeiss, Inc., and a main site for Sartorius AG which specializes in biotechnology and measurement equipment—the region around Göttingen advertises itself as Measurement Valley. Unemployment in Göttingen was 12.6% in 2003 and is now 7% March 2014. The city's railway station to the west of the city centre is on Germany's main north-south railway. Göttingen has two professional basketball teams, both the men's and women's teams play in the Basketball Bundesliga. For the 2007-08 season, both teams will play in the first division. Topic. History Topic. Early history The origins of Göttingen can be traced back to a village named Gutingi to the immediate southeast of the eventual city. The name of the village probably derives from a small stream, called the Goat, that once flowed through it. Since the ending ing denoted, living by, the name can be understood as, along the goat. Archaeological evidence points towards a settlement as early as the 7th century. It is first historically mentioned in a document by the Holy Roman Emperor Otto I in 953 AD, in which the emperor gives some of his belongings in the village to the Moritz Monastery in Magdeburg. Archaeological findings point to extensive commercial relations with other regions and a developed craftsmanship in this early period. Topic. Imperial Palace of Grona In its early days, Gutingi was overshadowed by Grona, historically documented from the year 915 AD as a newly built fortress, lying opposite Gutingi on a hill west of the River Lean. 
It was subsequently used as an Ottonian imperial palace, with 18 visits of kings and emperors documented between 941 and 1025 AD. The last Holy Roman Emperor to use the fortress of Grona said to have been fond of the location, Heinrich II 1002 also had a church built in the neighbouring Gutingi, dedicated to St. Alban. The current church building that occupies this site, the St. Albani Church, was built in 1423. The fortress then lost its function as a palace in 1025, after Heinrich II died there, having retreated to it in ill health. It was subsequently used by the Lords of Grone. The fortress was destroyed by the citizens of Göttingen between 1323 and 1329, and finally razed to the ground by Duke Otto I during his feuds with the city of Göttingen in 1387. <laughs> Foundation of the town With time, a trading settlement started to form at the river crossing of the Lean to the west of the village, from which it took its name. It is this settlement that was eventually given city rights. The original village remained recognizable as a separate entity until about 1360, at which time it was incorporated within the town's fortification. It is likely the present city was founded between 1150 and 1180, although the exact circumstances are not known. It is presumed that Henry the Lion, Duke of Saxony and Bavaria, founded the city. The configuration of the streets in the oldest part of the town is in the shape of a pentagon, and it has been proposed that the inception of the town followed a planned design. At this time, the town was known by the name Gudingen or also Göttingen. Its inhabitants obeyed Welfish ownership and ruling rights, and the first Göttingen burghers are mentioned, indicating that Göttingen was already organized as a true city. It was not, however, a free imperial city German, Reichstadt, but subject to the Welf Dukes of Brunswick-Lüneburg. Henry the Elder v. of Brunswick, eldest son of Henry the Lion and brother of the Holy Roman Emperor Otto IV, is given as the lord over Göttingen between 1201 and 1208. The original Welf residency in the town consisted of a farm building and the stables of the Welf Dukes, which occupied the oldest part of the city's fortifications built prior to 1250. In its early days, Göttingen became involved in the conflicts of the Welfs with their enemies. The initial conflicts in the first decades of the 13th century benefited the burghers of Göttingen, who were able to use the political and military situation to be courted by various parties, and hence forcing the Welf town lords to make certain compromises with the town. In a document from 1232, Duke Otto the Child gave the citizens of Göttingen the same rights which they had held at the time of his uncles Otto IV and Henry the Elder of Brunswick. These included privileges concerning self-governance of the town, protection of traders, and trading facilitation. The document also promises that the town is not to fall into the hands of other powers. It is to be assumed that at this time Göttingen possessed a city council of burghers. The names of council members are first given in a document from 1247. Topic: <inaudible> Expansion. The area secured by the initial fortification included the old marketplace, the old town hall, the two main churches, St. Johannes, St. John's, and St. Jacobi Street. James's, the smaller church St. Nikolai Street. Nicholas's, as well as the large Wiener Strasse, Grona Strasse and Rote Strasse Red Street. Outside of the fortification in front of the Geismar city gate lay the old village with the Church of St. Alban, which was subsequently known as Geismarer Altersdorf old Geismar village. This village was only to a limited extent under Welfish control and thus could not be included in the town's privileges and fortification. The town was initially protected by a rampart, as of the late 13th century then also by walls on top of the mound-like ramparts. Of these, only one tower with a short stretch of the wall survives in the term Strasse Tower Street. The thus protected area included maximally 600 metres by 600 metres, or about 25 hectares. This made it smaller than contemporary Hanover, but larger than the neighbouring Welfish towns of Northam, Dudestadt and Han. Munden. 
the goat stream that flowed south of the walls of the town was connected to the River Lean via a channel at about this time and the waterway has since been known as the Lean Canal. After the death of Otto the Child in 1257, his sons Albert I of Brunswick the Great and Johann inherited their father's territories. Duke Albrecht I governed for his brother, a minor, at first. Subsequently, the brothers agreed to divide the territory between themselves in 1267, effective 1269. The city of Göttingen went to Albert I, and was inherited by his son Duke Albert II, the Fat, in 1286. Albert II chose Göttingen as his residence and moved into the Welf residency, which he rebuilt into a fortress known as the Ballahus, after which the Bergstrasse fortress street is named. Albert II attempted to gain further control over the economically and politically rapidly growing town by founding a new town German, Neustadt west of the original town, across the Lean Canal and outside of the Groner city gate. This competing settlement consisted of a single street, no more than 80 yards long, with houses on either side of the street. The Duke, however, could not prevent Göttingen's westward expansion nor the success of the Göttingen City Council in effectively checking any hope of economic development in the Neustadt. The St. Marian Church Street. Mary's was built to the south of the Neustadt which, together with all adjoining farm buildings, was given to the Teutonic Knights in 1318. After the failure of the new town, the city council bought up the uncomfortable competition to the west in 1319 for 300 marks, and obtained the promise from the duke that he would not erect any fortress within a mile of the town. Two monasteries were also founded on the edge of the town at the end of the 13th century. To the east, in the area of today's Wilhelmsplatz, a Franciscan monastery was built as early as 1268, according to the city chronicler Franciscus Lubicus. Since the Franciscans walked barefoot as part of their vow of poverty, they were known colloquially as the Barefoot People, hence the name Barfua Strasse barefoot people's street for the road that led to the monastery. In 1294, Albert the Fat permitted the founding of a Dominican monastery along the Lean Canal opposite the Neustadt, for which the Paulinerkirche Pauline Church, completed in 1331, was constructed. Jews settled in Göttingen in the late 13th century. On 1 March 1289, the Duke gave the city council permission to allow the first Jew, Moses, to settle inside the town limits. The subsequent Jewish population lived predominantly close to St. James's Church on the Judenstrasse. <laughs> <laughs> Growth and independence After Albert the Fat's death in 1318, Göttingen passed to Otto the Mild d. 1344, who ruled over both the Principality of Göttingen, German, Fürstentum Göttingen, and the territory of Brunswick. These dukes joined Göttingen and surrounding towns in battles against aristocratic knights in the surroundings of Göttingen, in the course of which the citizens of Göttingen succeeded in destroying the fortress of Groen between 1323 and 1329, as well as the fortress of Rosdorf. Since Otto the Mild died without leaving any children, his brothers Magnus and Ernest divided the land between themselves. Ernest I received Göttingen, the poorest of all the wealth principalities, which was to remain separate from Brunswick for a long time to come. At this time, the territory consisted of the regions formerly owned by Northam, the towns of Göttingen, Usla, Dransfeld, Munden, Gieselwerder and half of Moringen. Not much is known about the rule of Duke Ernest I, but it is generally assumed that he continued to fight against aristocratic knights. Ernest I was succeeded after his death in 1367 by his son Otto I of Göttingen the evil, German, der Quaid d. 1394, who initially lived in the city's fortress and attempted to make it a permanent wealth residency. The epithet the evil came from Otto I's incessant feuds. Breaking with the policies of his predecessors, he frequently aligned himself with the aristocratic knights of the neighborhood in battles against the cities, whose growing power disturbed him. Under Otto the Evil, Göttingen gained a large degree of independence. After losing control of the provincial court at the Leinberg to Göttingen in 1375, Otto finally tried to impose his influence on Göttingen in 1387, but with little success. In April 1387, Göttingen citizens stormed and destroyed the fortress within the city's walls. 
In retaliation, Otto destroyed villages and farms in the town surroundings. However, Göttingen's citizens gained a victory over the Duke's army in a battle between the villages of Rosdorf and Grön, under their leader Moritz of Usla, forcing Otto to acknowledge the independence of the town and its surrounding properties. 1387 thus marks an important turning point in the history of the town. Göttingen's relative autonomy was further strengthened under Otto's successor Otto II, the one-eyed of Göttingen German, Kokels, der Einogige, not least because the wealth line of Brunswick Göttingen died out with Otto II, and the resulting questions surrounding his succession after his abdication in 1435 destabilized the regional aristocracy. After Duke Otto I of Göttingen relinquished his jurisdiction over Jews to the town of Göttingen in the years 1369–70, conditions for Jews greatly deteriorated, and several bloody persecutions and evictions from the town followed. Between 1460 and 1599, no Jews lived in Göttingen at all. The trend towards ever-diminishing wealth influence over the town continued until the end of the 15th century, although the town officially remains a wealth property. Nevertheless, it is counted in some contemporaneous documents among the imperial free cities. The 14th and 15th centuries thus represent a time of political and economic power expansion, which is also reflected in the contemporary architecture. The expansion of the St. Joannis Church to a Gothic Hall church began in the first half of the 14th century. As of 1330, a Gothic structure also replaced the smaller St. Nikolai Church Street. Nicholas's. After completion of the work on St. John's Church, the rebuilding of St. James's was begun in the second half of the 14th century. The original, smaller church that preceded this building was probably initiated by Henry the Lion or his successor, and functioned as a fortress chapel to the city fortress that lay immediately behind it. The representative old town hall was built between 1366 and 1444. Around 1360, the town's fortifications were rebuilt to encompass now also the new town and the old village. In the course of this construction work, the four city gates were moved farther out, and the town's area grew to roughly 75 hectares. The city council forged alliances with surrounding towns, and Göttingen joined the Hanseatic League in 1351, see below. Göttingen also gained Grona, currently Grone, and several other surrounding villages in the Lean Valley. The reason for the progressive power increase in the late Middle Ages was the growing economic importance of the town. This depended largely on its good connection to the north-south trade route, particularly the north-south trade route that followed the Lean Valley, which greatly aided the local textile industry in particular. Next to the Guild of Linen Weavers, the Guild of Wool Weavers gained in importance. The wool for the weaving originated in the immediate surroundings of the town, where up to 3,000 sheep and 1,500 lambs were kept. Woolen cloth was successfully exported all the way to the Netherlands and Lübeck. From 1475, textile production was augmented by the addition of new weavers who brought novel weaving techniques to Göttingen and consolidated the position of the town as a textile exporter for three generations. Only at the end of the 16th century did the decline of the local textile industry occur when Göttingen could not compete anymore with cheap English textiles. Göttingen's traders also profited from the important trade route between Lübeck and Frankfurt and Main. Göttingen's market became important beyond the region. Traders from other regions would come in great numbers four times a year. Göttingen also joined the Hanseatic League, to the first meeting of which it was invited in 1351. Göttingen's relationship with the Hanseatic League remained distant, however. As an inland town, Göttingen enjoyed the economic connections of the League, but it did not want to get involved in the politics of the alliance. Göttingen only became a paying member in 1426, and left as early as 1572. <laughs> Loss of independence to the present day After several dynastic splits and shifts in power that followed the death of Otto the One-Eyed, Duke Eric I, the Elder, Prince of Kallenberg, annexed the Principality of Göttingen, which became an integral part of the Principality of Kallenberg. 
The town refused to pay homage to Eric I in 1504, and as a result, Eric I had the Emperor Maximilian I, declare the town of Göttingen outlawed. The subsequent tensions economically weakened Göttingen, leading to the town finally paying its homage to Eric I in 1512. Afterward the relationship between Eric and the town improved, because of Eric's financial dependence on Göttingen. In 1584 the city came into the possession of the Dukes of brunswick wolfenbüttel also of the Welf dynasty, and in 1635 it passed to the House of Lüneburg, which ruled it thenceforth. In 1692 it was named as part of the indivisible territory electoral state of Hanover officially the electorate of brunswick lüneburg Topic: <laughs> University The University of Göttingen was founded in 1737 by George II Augustus, who was King of Great Britain and Ireland, Duke of brunswick lüneburg and Prince Elector of Hanover. During the Napoleonic period, the city was briefly in the hands of Prussia in 1806, turned over in 1807 to the newly created Napoleonic Kingdom of Westphalia, and returned to the state of Hanover in 1813 after Napoleon's defeat. In 1814 the prince-electors of Hanover were elevated to kings of Hanover and the Kingdom of Hanover was established. During the Austro-Prussian War 1866, the Kingdom of Hanover had attempted to maintain a neutral position. After Hanover voted in favor of mobilizing Confederation troops against Prussia on 14 June 1866, Prussia saw this as a just cause for declaring war. In 1868, the Kingdom of Hanover was dissolved and Göttingen became part of the Prussian province of Hanover. The province of Hanover was disestablished in 1946. Topic: Railway. In 1854, the city was connected to the new Hanoverian Southern Railway. Today, Göttingen railway station is served by ICE high-speed trains on the Hanover-Würzburg high-speed line. Third Reich era During the 1930s, Göttingen housed the top math physics faculty in the world, led by eight men, almost all Jews, who became known as the Göttingen Eight. Their members included Leo Seyard and Edward Teller. This faculty was not tolerable to the Reich, however, and the University of Göttingen suffered greatly as a result. The Göttingen Eight were expelled, and these men were forced to emigrate to the West in 1938. Seyard and Teller went on to become key members of the Manhattan Project team. Ironically, the Nazi insistence on a German physics prevented German scientists from applying Albert Einstein's breakthrough insights to physics, a policy which stifled the further development of physics in Germany. After the end of World War II, the famous university had to be reorganized almost from scratch, especially in the physics, mathematics, and chemistry departments, a process which has continued into the 21st century. The population of Göttingen supported Hitler and Nazism from an early date. As early as 1933, the Theaterplatz Square was renamed Adolf Hitlerplatz, and by the end of World War II, 70 streets had been renamed in reference to the Nazi regime or military topics. The absorption of Nazi culture into the everyday life of the citizens of Göttingen has been documented by historian David Imhoof. The synagogue in Göttingen was destroyed during Kristallnacht on 9 November 1938. Many of the Jews were killed in Nazi German extermination camps. Also, there was a concentration camp for adolescents in Moringen, which was not liberated until 1945. During the widespread British, Canadian and American air raids on Nazi Germany, Göttingen suffered comparatively little damage. Only about 2.1% of the city was destroyed. Beginning in July 1944, the air raids were sometimes heavier, but these mainly hit the area of the main railway station last on 7 April 1945. The historic old town of Göttingen remained practically undamaged. The Junkenchank, a historic half-timbered house was destroyed in a 1945 air raid and the exterior was not properly reconstructed until the 1980s. 
two of the churches and in the old town, and several buildings of the university, were heavily damaged. The Institute of Anatomy and 57 residential buildings, especially in Unterry Mash Street in the center of the city, were completely destroyed. Overall, only about 107 deaths were caused by the air raids, a comparatively small number. However, the neighboring cities of Hanover and Brunswick experienced many impact of the bombing raids. Castle was destroyed several times. Because the city had many hospitals, those hospitals had to take care of up to 4,000 wounded Wehrmacht soldiers and airmen during World War II. Göttingen was also fortunate in that before troops of the U.S. Army arrived in Göttingen on 8 April 1945, all of the Wehrmacht's combat units had departed from this area, hence, Göttingen experienced no heavy ground fighting, artillery bombardments, or other major combat. Contemporary history In a reform in 1973 the district of Göttingen was enlarged by incorporating the dissolved districts of Duderstadt and Hanovisch Munden. Cultural relevance Prior to the period of German Romanticism, a group of German poets that had studied at this university between 1772 and 1776, formed the Göttinger Hainbund or Dichterbund circle of poets. Being disciples of Klostock, they revived the folksong and wrote lyric poetry of the Sturm und Drang period. Their impact was essential on Romanticism in the German-speaking area and on folklore in general. Since the 1920s, the town has been associated with the revival of interest in the music of George Friedrich Handel. The Göttingen International Handel Festival is held each summer with performances in the Stadthal Göttingen and a number of churches. In the mid-1960s, the song named after the city by the French singer Barbara created a considerable popular impetus towards post-war Franco-German reconciliation. A street in the city, Barbara Strasse, is named after her. Because of the city's long association with academics and scholarly journals, Göttingen has acquired the motto Die Stadt, Die Wissenschaft. The phrase is a pun, Die Stadt der Wissenschaft means the city of science, Die Stadt, Die Wissenschaft, identical pronunciation apart from der tilde die means the city that creates knowledge. Incorporations The following communities were incorporated in the city of Göttingen 1963, Herberhausen 1964, Geismar, Grohn, Nikolausberg, and Wiend 1973, Depoldshausen, Elihausen, Eesbeck, Groellershausen, Hetchershausen, Holtensen, Nutburen, and Roringen Topic. Demographics The city's population has increased since the Middle Ages. With the arrival of the early modern period, the growth rate greatly accelerated. The population peaked at 132,100 in 1985. In 2004, it stood at 129,466, of which around 24,000 were students. Topic. Transport The Göttingen bus system is run by the Govab Göttinger Verkehrsbetrieb. Buses run throughout the city and to the neighboring villages, as well as intercity bus services from the station Göttingen ZOB, adjacent to the railway station. Göttingen railway station lies west of the medieval town center and provides links to several destinations in Germany. Like most German cities, the town is bicycle friendly, with bicycle paths throughout the commercial areas except for in pedestrian only shopping areas and beyond. The time to pedal downtown from the outskirts is 15 to 20 minutes. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Religion. After the Middle Ages, the area of Göttingen was part of the Archbishopric of Mainz, and most of the population were Roman Catholic. 
Starting in 1528, the teachings of church reformer Martin Luther became more and more popular in the city. In 1529 the first Protestant sermon was preached in the Paulinerkirche, a former Dominican monastery church. For many centuries, nearly all the people in the city were Lutherans. As of today, the area of Göttingen is part of the Lutheran Church of Hanover. Apart from this state church, there are several other Protestant churches in Göttingen, known as Freikirchen. In 1746, Catholic services in Göttingen were resumed, at first only for the students of the new university, but a year later for all citizens who wished to attend. However, it was not until 1787 that the first Catholic church since the Reformation, St. Michael's, was built. In 1929 a second Catholic church, St. Paul's, was erected. Today, the major religions are Lutheran and Catholicism. In addition, there has been a Baptist congregation since 1894, a Mennonite congregation since 1946, as well as a congregation of The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. There is a documented Jewish community dating back to the 16th century. During the Third Reich, the synagogue was destroyed in the Reichsprogrammnacht on 9 November 1938, as were many others throughout Germany. The Jewish community was persecuted, and many of its members met their deaths in the concentration camps. In recent years, the Jewish community has again been flourishing, with the immigration of Jewish people from the states of the former Soviet Union. In 2004, the first Shabbat could be celebrated in the new Jewish community center. Finally, there are many Islamic congregations. Islam gained a foothold in Göttingen, as it did in other German cities, with the immigration of the Turks during the Wirtschaftswunder in the 1960s and 1970s. They constitute the majority of Muslims in Göttingen. Other Muslims are of Arab origin or come from Pakistan, Iran and India. There are two mosques in the city. There is a secular trend in Germany, especially in eastern Germany, but also in the west, where a growing number of people are not baptized or leave the church. This trend is especially noticeable since the 1990s, percentage-wise between 1990 and 2014 the Protestants in Göttingen dropped from 56.2 to 40.6% and the Catholics dropped from 17.1 to 15.6%. Politics A town council with 24 councillors dates from the 12th century. In 1319 this council took control of the new city district, Neustadt, just in front of the wall. The council election took place on the Mondays following Michaelmas, September 29. Starting in 1611 all citizens were able to elect the 24 councillors. Previously this right was restricted and depended on income and profession. Afterwards, the council elected the Burgermeister, Mayor. In 1669 the number of councillors was reduced to 16, and later to 12. In 1690 the city administration was reorganized again. Then the council consisted of the judge, two mayors, the city lawyer, syndicus, the secretary and eight councillors. All of these were appointed by the government. During the Napoleonic era the mayor was called mayor, and there was also a city council. In 1831 there was another reform of the constitution and the administration. The title of the mayor changed to Oberbürgermeister. In the following decades there were more reforms to the city administration, which reflected the constitutional and territorial reorganizations of Germany. During the Third Reich the mayor was appointed by the Nazi party. In 1946 the authorities of the British Occupation Zone, to which Göttingen then belonged, introduced a communal constitution which reflected the British model. Topic. Coat of arms The coat of arms of Göttingen shows in the top half three silver towers with red roofs on a field of blue. The lateral towers possess four windows each and are crowned by golden crosses. Around the central tower are four silver balls. The city towers represent the status as a city which has been granted certain rights. In the bottom field is a golden lion on a red field. 
This lion represents the Lion of the Welf dynasty, which in its various branches ruled the area of Göttingen for 850 years. This coat of arms was first documented in 1278. The city has sometimes used a simpler one, consisting of a black capital G on a golden field, topped with a crown. Topic: <laughs> International relations. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Twin towns, sister cities. Gottingen is twinned with Cheltenham, UK, since 1951 Torin, Poland, since 1978 Pau, France, since 1982 Wittenberg, Germany, since 1988 There has been a solidarity agreement with La Paz Centro in Nicaragua since 1989 which has, as of 2013, not yet led to a formal twinning agreement. The city is also the namesake of Gottingen Street, Halifax, Nova Scotia, Canada. Topic: Notable people born in Gottingen. Arthur Rowers 1838 to 1915, astronomer. Robert Bunsen, chemist 1811 to 1899. August Wilhelm Diekhoff, 1823–1894, theologian Heinrich Ewald, theologian and Orientalist, 1803–1875 Herbert Gronmeyer, musician and actor, born 1956 Uta Hagen, actress, 1919–2004 Kai Engelke, writer, singer-songwriter and teacher, born 1946 Juliana Kohler, actress, born 1965. Rudolf Kohlrausch, 1809–1858, physicist. Sandra Nasik, singer, born 1976. Wilhelm Heinrich Roscher, 1845–1923, classical philologist. Johannes Heinrich Schultz, 1884–1970, psychiatrist, developed autogenic training. Thomas C. Sudhoff, biochemist, Nobel laureate, born 1955. Andreas Steyer, pianist and performer of historically informed performance, born 1955. Hendrik Streeck, leading HIV researcher, born 1977. Bernhard Vogel, politician, CDU, born 1932. Hans Jochen Vogel, politician, SPD, born 1926. Wolfgang Sartorius von Waltershausen, geologist, 1809 to 1876. Heidi Lippmann, politician, the left, born 1956. Suzanne Jovan, United States murder victim of the unsolved 1998 Yale University murder case, 1974 to 1998. Christian Thefertrat Butner, electronic dance music producer, born 1979. Topic. Notable people who died in Göttingen Max Born, 1882–1970, physicist, mathematician and Nobel laureate Peter Gustave Lejeune de Riclet, 1805–1859, mathematician Manfred Eigen, 1927–2019, biophysical chemist and Nobel laureate 1967 Carl Friedrich Gauss, 1777–1855, mathematician and scientist Friedrich August Grotefend, 1798–1836, philologist Otto Hahn, 1879–1968, chemist and Nobel laureate 1944 David Hilbert, 1862–1943, mathematician Theodore Kaluza, 1885–1954, mathematician and physicist Felix Klein, 1849–1925, mathematician Hermann Minkowski, 1864–1909, mathematician Georg Christoph Lichtenberg, 1742–1799, physicist Max Planck, 1858–1947, physicist and Nobel laureate 1918 
Helmut Plessner, 1892–1985, philosopher and sociologist Ludwig Prand Thiel, 1875–1953, scientist Kurt Riedermeister, 1893–1971, mathematician Lou Andreas Salome, 1861–1937, psychoanalyst and author Karl Ludwig Siegel, 1896–1981, mathematician Wilhelm Eduard Weber, 1804–1891, physicist Connie Westman, 1965–1989, anti-fascist activist Friedrich Verler, 1800–1882, chemist Richard Adolf Zsig Mondi, 1825–1929, chemist and Nobel laureate 1929 Sport Göttingen has some football soccer teams playing in amateur leagues Sparta Göttingen Beziksa Berliga http colon slash slash www.spartagöttingen.de slash a cricket club a bowling alley an American football team a baseball team at least two skittles alleys an indoor swimming complex and a number of outdoor pools a sports stadium Jan Stadion a basketball team playing since 2007 in the first league in Germany topic <laughs> universities and colleges Göttingen is officially a university town and is known particularly for its university Georg August University of Göttingen, http colon slash slash www.uni-göttingen.de slash German Aerospace Center, http colon slash slash www.dlr.de slash n slash desktop default.aspx slash tabard 343 slash 470 underscore read 664 slash Private University of Applied Sciences, http colon slash slash www.pfh.de slash University of Applied Sciences and Arts, http colon slash slash www.fh Göttingen.de Goethe Institute Göttingen, http colon slash slash www.goethe.de slash Göttingen slash Max Planck Institute for Biophysical Chemistry Max Planck Institute for Experimental Medicine Max Planck Institute for the Study of Religious and Ethnic Diversity Max Planck Institute for Dynamics and Self-Organization Max Planck Institute for Solar System Research German Primate Center, http colon slash slash www.dpz.u Cultural establishments Topic Theatre Göttingen has two professional theatres, the Deutsches Theatre and the Jungs Theatre. In addition, there is Theatre im Op Göttingen, which mostly presents student productions. Topic Museums, collections, exhibitions Göttingen City Museum, Statisches Museum Göttingen has permanent and temporary exhibitions of historical and artistic materials, although most of the building is currently closed for renovation. The university's ethnographic collection includes an internationally significant South Seas exhibition Cook Forster collection and mostly 19th century materials from the Arctic Polar Region Baron von Asch collection as well as major displays on Africa. The Old City Hall Alters Rathaus has temporary art shows of local, regional and international artists. The Paulina Kircher in the Historical University Library building has various temporary exhibitions, usually of a historic nature. The university has a number of significant museums and collections. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Gardens. 
Göttingen is home to four intercultural gardens and the German Association of International Gardens International Garten e. v. The university maintains three major botanical gardens Alter Botanischer Garten der Universität Göttingen Neue Botanischer Garten der Universität Göttingen Forstbotnischer Garten und Pflanzengeographisches Arboretum der Universität Göttingen, an arboretum and botanical garden. The city cemetery, the Stadtfredhof is planted with groves of trees. <laughs> Local media The local radio station Stadtradio Göttingen which is funded indirectly by the state of Lower Saxony broadcasts on FM 107.1 MHz and covers all parts of the city and some surrounding towns and villages. Its hourly news bulletins are the population's main source of local news. Additionally, the radio stations NDR1, Hitradio Anten Niedersachsen and Radio FFN provide specific local newscasts on their affiliate local frequencies. The regional newspaper Hessisch Niedersachsische Allgemeine has editorial offices in Göttingen. Its local news service is available for free on the Internet and competes directly with the Stadtradio news service. Local news from Stadtradio Göttingen Local news from HNA newspaper the Göttinger Tageblatt, is published by the Hanovisch Allgemeine Zeitung on Mondays through Saturdays. See also Hanover-Braunschweig-Gottingen-Wolfsburg Metropolitan Region <laughs>